Hey guys, Figsy here. Uh, it's seven ten on a Saturday morning, and I'm going garage selling. So I thought I would make a video about it. Uh, I've never done something like this before, so bear with me. Hopefully, it's fun. Um, I've got like four, or five different garage sales I'm going to go to. A couple of shops, a couple of like um, Vinnie's Salvos, like secondhand stores. I've also got a couple of games to be picking up from some people, so um, yeah, it should be fun, guys. The first garage sale, he advertised PS1 games and Mega Drive games, so fingers crossed on that one, and we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm gonna piece all these videos together at the end, and hopefully it makes a good YouTube video. First little garage sale of the day. Um, I'll show you guys what I've bought already. I picked up this lot for 175. Feel these are sales. Yeah, and the guy let us know that um, someone else is going to be bringing games here to sell in about an hour, so we'll be coming back here in an hour, hopefully get some more. Yeah, it's a nice first stop of the day. Back in the car, I was so nervous doing that video, guys, because I got such a good deal and I didn't want to talk about it in front of him. Um, yeah, so we got a big stack of Vita games, a lot of them are sealed, PS1 games, and some N-Gage games. I'll just show you guys the games quickly. Uh, I'll try and turn this camera around, which I probably can't do. No, I don't think I can do that. So we got the Slide Trilogy. Factory Sealed, Jack and Daxter Trilogy. Dragon's Crown. Factory Sealed American Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. Factory Sealed Assassin's Creed Liberations. Factory Sealed Child of Light. Um, these you just threw in. There are a couple of download vouchers. They're all empty cases. A few Engage games. A couple of these are sealed. Pandanomian, this one's opened. And then the sealed games, we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Virtual Tennis. And the games that I really came for, these are the ones I've seen on the ad. We've got Metal Gear Solid. All of these are black label. Probably the biggest score Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. What I've been looking for for years, and I finally got it. Black Label Final Fantasy VII. And the Black Label Resident Evil 1. I'm pretty happy with these pickups, guys. Again, I paid $175. I've probably got three, four hundred dollars $400 worth here. I'm going to sell some of it to get my money back, and a lot of it's for my collection. Um, as I did get here, one of my buddies, Brady, who on YouTube is Revolution360, uh, actually showed up and he was like, ah, I realized who was there as, as I was doing the deal. But um, Brady's doing some deal on some Mega Drive stuff at the moment. I left it all for him. So hopefully you get some, man. And um, yeah, the guy's going to send me some photos of um, PS3 games and 360 games later. So hopefully me and Brady get another good deal. And on to the next sale. This is a good start to the day. Peace, guys. Alright, second garage sale. Uh, it was out of town. They didn't say they had any games or anything. Um, it just said 30 years of living, clearing out. So I decided to check it out. Anyway, they had a box. Not a box. They had a PS1 in a case. It's all in here. It's got a couple of controllers. I don't think it's got any games. They said it's got three games. I couldn't see any. 
maybe there's some loose disc in, it, in there, but um, I was just looking at it and the guy comes up to me, he's like, oh, you have it for 20 bucks if you want to. So yeah, that price, I couldn't say no. So that was a pretty cool find at the second garage sale. I've got another one to head to, so fingers crossed. Um, running out of money, of course. Uh, but yeah, this has been fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you soon. Yeah, so the next place I went to, uh, they had some nice stuff, but they didn't have any games. I decided to grab some Blu-rays. I'll probably try my hand in selling them. They were, uh, they were a dollar each, but I grabbed seven, and then he gave it to me for five bucks. So we've got Rise of the Guardians. Uh, the Star Wars Clone Wars. James Cameron's Avatar. Man of Steel. The Dark Knight Rises. Got an Iron Man double pack, and this is sealed. And Final Fantasy, the Advert Children Complete Blu-ray, which I've got the console for this, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that was all for this stuff. I've just messaged another lady that I was picking a game up from, so hopefully she gets back to me and I can grab that one. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, uh, so the next place, um, I messaged this lady on Facebook last night, she had some Wii games. Uh, it was just one I was after, so I grabbed Super Mario Bros for the Wii, uh, it was five bucks, it's in really good condition, it's complete. Um, great deal, except I had to drive about like 20 minutes to get here, so yeah, but um, overall I'm really happy. Um, so this is all the deals and all the garage sales I'm just going to go to this morning, I've got one or two more pickups but i'll probably do them this afternoon and i'll show you guys and yeah see you soon peace hey guys so the um first guy i went to today he messaged me and his mate came around with a bunch more games so they're six bucks each ps3 360 he's got some systems so i'm going back there to um hopefully grab some more so i'll see you guys once we have the next lot of pickups hey guys just finished at the first place um he ended up taking me into his house and showing me some of his collection. He's got some pinball machines, like PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4 collectibles. He had garages full of them, sheds full of stuff, boxes. Yeah, there was so much stuff in there. There was guides, there was box toys. Uh, anyway, I got a bunch of stuff. We've got a bunch of PS3 games, um, and I've got a box PlayStation Mini, uh, which will probably be going to one of you guys. Um, you know who you are <laughs> if you're getting this oh, well i told you i'd look for it so that'll be cool um and i'll show you guys the rest of the games when we get home uh, i'm gonna go hit a couple of shops now and yeah i'll see you guys in the next place hey guys Feezy here again and uh, welcome to the last part of the video uh this might look a little bit different to you i've rearranged the game room if you've seen my latest game room tour you'll know we're in the corner rearrange my Streaming setup. If you want to see that, I've got photos on Instagram. Um, yeah, so we're back home. I'm going to show you guys everything we picked up. Got a couple more pickups that I didn't show. I was driving around from a couple of shops I went to, uh, and notably cash converters and EV games. Um, so I'll start with the first one, which you guys have already seen, but I rushed for showing you everything. Um, so this first lot of games I paid. 175 Australian for. I'm probably so we got PS1, Vita, and Engage. I'm gonna sell the Vita and the Engage stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely selling the Engage stuff. The Vita stuff, I'm like 50 50. I'm kind of like wanting to keep my Vita stuff now. Um, but I'm keeping all the PS1 stuff, most of it I needed, which I'm excited to have. But yeah, hopefully I want to get my money back by selling a few of these pieces. So we have Pandanom Pandanomium <laughs> on Engage. Which interestingly enough, I looked all these games up on eBay and none of them are even available for sale in Australia. So quite interesting. Uh, so these next two are sealed. These are all Australian games. The Virtua Tennis. Sealed and it's still got the um the Dick Smith sticker on it. Dick Smith was a Australian retailer. 
but has now gone into liquidation. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and this is also factory sealed. And yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. We've got a new camera, guys. I hope you like it. I really like zooming in, then it looked really pretty happy with this camera thus far. Then moving on to the Vita stuff. If I least interesting stuff out of the way. So when he was adding up the figures, he basically just threw these in. So we've got three cases. They're all the same on the front. They contain download vouchers. Um, on the back, it tells you what they're for. So the first one was the Adventure Mega Pack. That focus is really good initially, and then it went away. Here we have the Lego Mega Pack. Finally, the Indie Games Mega Pack. One of these has been used, the other two haven't been used, i.e. scratched. This one's been used. So the other two is unscratched. Unfortunately, they've all expired. Yeah, I, you know, I like to keep my, like my voucher games. These are quite interesting to get. Next we have a PAL copy of Dragon's Crown, it's used. One of my favourite games, I don't own it on the Vita, so that was... Again, I'm undecided, I've got about 20 Vita games now, most sealed. I'm not sure if I want to sell them on. Decided last year to sell my PSP collection. Um, uh, I've sold some of my American sealed Vita games, like Limited Run, etc. But I've still got all my Australian games. So we got some seal games today, which is really awesome. Firstly, a North American copy of Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. It's a seal. Looks like a Canadian copy. Next, we have a sealed Australian game. It's Assassin's Creed 3 Liberations. I don't actually own this Assassin's Creed, so that's pretty cool. Focus on this camera. Is it? I've never used this camera. It's the first time using it, guys. So I like default settings, I guess. And it looks pretty good. Uh, so next is a sealed Child of Light. It's cool to have an actual copy. There's a good copy of the game that's not a download voucher because my PS3 slash 4 copy is a download voucher. It's Child of Light. Here we have the Slide Trilogy. This is used. All complete in very good condition. Um, download Voucher hasn't been used yet. The Download Voucher gives you the Slide Free Honor Among Thieves. Door, which is pretty cool. And the last Vita game we got was the Jack and Daxter Trilogy, and this one's sealed as well. Australian PAL copy, so that's really cool. Uh, so now the PS1 games. Final Fantasy VII, black label copy. I didn't own this, I owned Final Fantasy VIII. On PS1, I don't own six yet, but um, I own seven. I've been waiting to get a black level copy. Very good condition. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. The guy I bought it off was a collector. I'll get to that in a second because I'm very behind. Uh, next, another game I didn't own. I'm very happy to own Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. That's uh, complete and beautiful condition. Another one I didn't own. We have Resident Evil. First one again. I'm very happy to own this. Uh, he did. He said he's got Resident Evil two somewhere. He's just gonna find it, and um, he said he'll sell it to me if he does. So that'll be cool. 
And finally, he had a copy of Metal Gear Solid. Now, the copy he had, this case cover, because it's all in immaculate condition, the demo disc, and the, the manual, and the two discs of his were rentals. I had another copy that had a damaged cover and no demo disc. So I swapped the discs out and the manual. Now I've got a complete cover in great condition with the uh, demo disc. That was really cool. It's got a Silent Hill demo. Here's the first Metal Gear Solid. So again, I paid one seventy five for that lot. Um, I seen these games last night, and I went to bed pretty early to go get them. I was like, as soon as he set up. And as I said, my mate Brady, who's Revolution three hundred and sixty on YouTube, um, we're about to collaborate in a YouTube video. He's going to come over and we're going to show you guys some Saints Row Collector's Editions. It will be really cool. I did show up and um, unfortunately probably wanted some of this stuff. So um, I'm going to give him first dibs on the Engage stuff if he wants that. Yeah, some of that Vita stuff might be for sale. Guys. Um, thankfully, Brady was able to get some cool stuff from that guy as well. So more on that guy because I actually went back to his place later. So he told us that his mate was coming around to drop some games off. Um, he said about five bucks each, but it turned out his mate wanted six dollars each. He had some other stuff, so he ended up making a deal on a bunch of PS3, Xbox 360, and a PS1 Classic by one hundred and twenty-five dollars all up. Uh, most of this stuff I'll probably try and resell to get some of my money back from. So firstly, the PlayStation Classic. I do want one of these. I don't own one, but I'm probably going to sell this to my buddy Evan. Uh, he was looking for one, and he asked me to try and find one for him, and I said I would. That's in beautiful condition. It isn't sealed. It has been broken. He said he hasn't used it. Uh, moving on to the games. So we have Doom 3 with the slipcover in beautiful condition. Might even be better condition than mine. Um, Dirt 3, the complete edition. The Fear Files on Xbox 360. Uh, I've never seen this before, so I just grabbed it. It's not on PS3. I'm gonna close something on my PC, guys. Got Facebook open, and every time I get a message, it makes a sound. So anyway, so I went around there and we were chatting for a bit. No, he hadn't had many people around. He, he wasn't really selling that much. So he invited me inside. He told me he took Brady inside and showed him some. So he showed me all his stuff. He had amazing pinball machines and. Like a wall wrap around the wall it looked amazing. It was Ninja Turtles, and he had Ninja Turtle pinball machines and Ninja Turtle figures, and he had consoles and boxes of toys and Pokemon cards and yeah, that was cool. And he took me to the shed, and there was more stuff. And anyway, we walked past this steel book, and I'm like, oh, I, I'm missing that from the collector's edition. I came with the wrong steel book. Anyway, on the way out, he's like, oh, you can have that for five bucks if you. Want. Yeah. Awesome, man. He gave me like a bag and one of the action figures that came with the steelbook. So, this isn't the regular Resident Evil 5 steelbook. This is the one that came with the collector's edition. The back's a little bit different, as you can see here. Uh, this copy only includes the bonus DVD, but I do have another copy of the game in the manual so I can complete this. Yeah, so that was really cool to get. I was probably around the guy's house for about half an hour. Um, Next, we've got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, for the Xbox 360. I think it's missing. No, it's complete. It's got the map and the manual. Devil May Cry, the HD collection for the 360 again.
Silent Hill downpour for the PS3. Yeah, I'm going to sell most of these games. Um, they're all in immaculate condition, so I will compare conditions with all my copies. But I will be selling them all. So you have the Chronicles of Riddick on 360. The Chronicles of Riddick on PS3. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. Again, everything's complete and immaculate condition, guys. Now, this guy certainly looked after his stuff. Really nice to buy good stuff like that from a hotel. He said the PS1 games he's had from when he was a kid. Final Fantasy X, X2, the HD remaster. Grid Auto Sport, the limited black edition. Here we have Diablo. Reaper Souls, the Ultimate Evil Edition. Diablo. And finally, Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year Edition. Now this is complete with manual and map. Yeah, so that was all I got from that guy. Again, that lot with the PS1 Mini was 120, and the first lot was 175. So I will need to sell a lot of those games to get a lot of that money back. Hopefully that pays for itself and that'll make that purchase free. Might take a couple of months, but yeah, I'll get them all sold. Uh, so after that, originally I went to another garage sale. Um, I was looking around, I spent a lot of money already, so I wasn't really looking at buying anything. And I was just looking at the PS1 bag and the guy came up to me and said, oh, you can have that for 20 bucks. And in my head I'm thinking, oh, do I like offer him $40 for it? So I bought it for twenty dollars. So I'll show you guys quickly. Here we have the bag, PlayStation bag, which is really cool. It's in beautiful condition. This bag. And then inside the bag, we've got a PS1, two controllers, a memory card, and a PS2, like, information pack with a demo disc. It's a little bit weird. Oh, but yeah, that was $20 from another garage sale. Um, after that, I went to another garage sale. Uh, I didn't have any games. However, we had some Blu-rays, which is something that I don't really buy or try and sell, but, um... As you guys know, I've started working at a pawn shop. So I know that we sell these for $5 each, so I try to grab some popular ones. I picked up seven and I said, would you take five bucks? And he ummed it hard and said, yeah, whatever, five bucks. We have seven Blu-rays. Some of these are sealed too, so I'll look up prices. Um, hopefully get a bit of money from them. Final Fantasy advert children complete. I might actually keep this because I do own the console for this. Here we have the Iron Man 1 and 2 double pack, it's really cool. The Dark Knight Rises. Batman, Man of Steel. Avatar. Star Wars, The Clone Wars. And Rise of the Guardians. So again, that was $5. So the next place I went to, I messaged this lady last night. She had Wii games. I just wanted one of them. $5. They were really cheap. Uh, it was a great deal, except I had to drive a long way out of town to get them. But I ended up getting Super Mario Bros. on the Wii for $5. It's in perfect condition and it's complete. Uh, so I should be able to get 30 35 for this one. So that'll be a nice profit. Um... After that, I think I went home, and then I went back out, and I went to that guy's place, and that lot you seen. Um, so up to this point, where we were in the car, and I was going to go to Cash Inverters. Cash Inverters, I picked up two games for six ninety We've got MotoGP 13, which wasn't released in Australia, and Resident Evil 2 Revelations. 
They were both six ninety five, which I can make a bit of money on, so I'll flip the two of those. That was a nice pickup from cash converters. And then after cash converters, I went to EB Games because I wanted to buy a box that I can take photos with. I'll show you guys. What this is for Instagram and eBay and wherever else I can take photos. You plug this USB in and this lights up and you put a game in here and it takes really good photos. It's because the lighting in this room is really bad. Some of you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you know. <laughs> I picked that up. I'm really happy with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I also picked up Yesterday's Origins, which is actually a limited run game. However, they had a standard release in the Power Region. Just getting a phone call. We'll go in a second. Um, however, I got this eighteen dollars so considering it's pretty pricey overseas I'm happy to get this one I've been waiting for it to drop in price for a while and when he was picking the game out I seen some steel books in the cabinet and I know in the back of my head that they give them away for free. I said hey man what steel books have you got? And he's like oh we have um first game was generic I forget what it was like Battlefield Hero and I said oh how much for the Sekiro steel book? And he said, oh, you can have it. It's, I know they're not allowed to sell empty steelbooks. Um, so I got another Sekiro steelbook. I've never got three of these already. I've already got one on eBay, so this was up there. Um, yeah, so it was a really nice pickup. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I'm going to edit everything together and put it out. The first time I've ever done something like this, uh, let me know if you want me to do more because I can do weekend at least every time i go out it won't be as crazy as this obviously sometimes i don't pick up anything yeah i had lots of fun making this guys um i'm gonna try and get more footage in the shops too and at people's houses obviously some people don't like it like that guy i went to he was happy for me to film i probably should have asked him if i could have died this place is awesome but i didn't think about it at the time nobody yeah, again Thousand subs, guys. Let's go, baby. I've applied to be a YouTube partner, so fingers crossed on that. I'm waiting to hear back from YouTube. We'll do a giveaway video soon. I'm just getting ready for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.